Hey guys, so we're less than two weeks away from Elon's Starship presentation on September 28th, and things are really heating up with Starship Mach 1 and Mach 2 prototype development. The teams at SpaceX's site in Boca Chica and Coco are really working around the clock, literally, to complete construction of Mach 1 and Mach 2 respectively. On September 14, 2019, SpaceX technicians in Boca Chica attached the third and final dome or bulkhead to the top of the prototype's lower section. This is quite a critical step and significant progress so far. Mach 1 is expected to have its first flight sometime next month, in October, and is expected to soar to an altitude of around 20 kilometers or just over 65,600 feet or 12.4 miles. That's a drastic difference from the company's previous prototype vehicle, Starhopper's max altitude of 150 meters or 500 feet. According to a SpaceX FCC application, the test may arrive as early as October 13, 2019. That's almost exactly a month from now. A different approach with this bulkhead. SpaceX has already installed five bulkheads or domes so far, two on Starship Mach 2 and all three on Starship Mach 1. There was something a little bit different though on how SpaceX chose to install the third and final bulkhead on Starship Mach 1. Typically, SpaceX technicians lowered the domes via a crane inside the Starship cylindrical tank section. According to Tesla Roddy, the steel domes are then carefully spot welded to the inside of the tank in their proper place, all while being supported by a crane before technicians can complete a seamless ring well around the entire circumference. In the case of the installation of the third and final dome in Mach 1, SpaceX welded the upper tank section to its companion ring section while both elements were still staged on the ground. It's not quite clear if this was planned or if it came from lessons learned from previous bulkhead tank dome installations on both sites. We'll have to wait to see how SpaceX really goes about installing future bulkheads on Starship vehicles. Elon visits Boca Chica over the weekend, this past Sunday, September 15th, SpaceX fans in Boca Chica got a little bit of a surprise when Elon visited the Boca Chica site with his family to check in on Mach 1 development. From the pictures captured of the day, he seemed to be quite happy with the progress so far. Looking at Mach 1 construction right now, you can really get a sense of how big the Starship prototype actually is already. So our future Starship Super Heavy stack should really be quite impressive in size. So what's left for Starship Mach 1? Well, a couple of things. The nose cone still has to be attached. The tank section and payload section also need to be attached to each other. And SpaceX still has to add internal subsystems and the aerodynamic control surfaces, not to mention the vehicle's Raptor engines. And of course, the few minor details that always need to be added. Meanwhile, in Coco, the forward bulkhead has already been completed and is now waiting attachment to the vehicle's lower section. The team at Coco is really trailing closely behind the team in Boca Chica. And I won't be surprised if Starship Mach 2 is completed not too long after Starship Mach 1. Rapid innovation like nothing ever seen before. I mean, it's really super exciting to see SpaceX's rapid development on Starship and Super Heavy so far. The rate of progress at SpaceX and just the scope of Starship is just really inspiring. SpaceX really has a lot on their hands. There's continual development on Starship and Super Heavy. Right now, the company is working to complete Mach 1 Starship by Elon's presentation and aiming for a launch soon after. Construction has just begun at Pad 39A. SpaceX eventually plans to move Mach 2 there for testing. The company also plans to move its Starship factory to Roberts Road within the bounds of Kennedy Space Center. Not to mention everything else SpaceX has going on. The company has an accelerated launch rate for Starlink satellites in 2020 and a Crew Dragon flight aboard test coming up soon. There's a lot to look forward to from SpaceX in the future. It's a great time to be a SpaceX fan.